Hey everybody, it's Thaddeo here today, and I will be showing you how to make a CSGO weapon skin, how to upload it to the workshop, and how to do all the work. So, let's jump right in and get started. So first, there's three tools, well two tools, possibly three, that you're going to need to download. The first of the tools being G GCF Escape by NEMS Tools. No viruses, well, that I know of. I mean, I've downloaded it on multiple computers, it seems to be good. Same with all of these, so I wouldn't really worry about them, at least I don't. Make sure you go to NEMS Tools, nowhere else, NEMS Tools, GFS Escape, and need this one, one of the most important ones. Second one, NEMS Tools, again, VTF Edit. It's no, virus-free that I know of, I mean, I've downloaded multiple computers, seems good. So, just install it, quick install, 15 seconds, do whatever you want. I wouldn't change any settings when you install it, except making the desktop shortcut, otherwise I wouldn't really mess with it. Last one you may need, you may not need, it's Hex Editor. This one you'll only need if your VTX files are having a weird conversion problem. So you don't have to download this one now. Of course, I'll still put it in the description. The C, this, this website seems to be fine to download it off. I've downloaded it and it seems fine. So, all right, we'll jump right in. First thing we're going to need to do, you're going to want GCF Scape. So I already got that open. You're going to go to File open. Now you need to get to your CSGO. So I just go to this PC, uh, window, well, program file C, programs file 86, then you're going to go to Steam, you're going to go to Steam Apps, you're going to go to Common, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, CSGO. Once you're on the CSGO menu, you scroll all the way to the bottom. So you see pack 01 underscore DIR, Open. Now you're gonna hold while holding control, select models and materials, right click on it, and hit extract. Now this process will take about ten minutes, and you can extract to any file you would like to. You can extract it back into the CSGO folder if you want. But I made my own one on my desktop called CSGO VTF, doesn't matter what it's called, but I extracted them all here already. So for time's sake, all you would do is hit OK, but I'm not going to since I already got that part done. And once that finishes, it takes about 10 minutes, you never have to do it again. So be happy about that part. Next, you are going to go to VTF Edit. Now, you're going to hit File. You're going to hit Import. Make sure you hit Import, not Open. Now, this is not where I want to be. Desktop. You're going to go to CSGO VTF. You're going to go to Materials. Then you are going to go to, I'm looking for it, Models, Weapons, V Models, and whatever one we want to mess with. Uh, what do I want to do? Maybe the FAMAS? And make sure you go to All Files. So I'm going to open the FAMAS and, oop, oh, error loading image. Okay, maybe not the FAMAS this time. So I will go to... Let's see, AK-47 you think? We'll go AK-47. And here is the AK-47. This is AK-47. This is the gun all broken down into the pieces where it would be 3D. So obviously you can see the sight in the top right there. Here's the wood trim for the stock of the gun. And now this is what you're going to use in Photoshop or GIMP I think works too. I just use Photoshop because that's what I know how to do. So now we're going to go to File. You're going to hit export this time. When it exports, it will turn into a TGA file. And we want the TGA, that's what works in Photoshop. So I'm going to save it in another custom folder I made on my desktop because it makes it easier. I just name it editable editable guns. So this is going to be AK47 edit is what I'll save it as. And it is a TGA file now. So now I have this done. I'm going up going to open up my Photoshop. I have CS6. Now, I don't know if this will work on CS5 or CS4 or whatever Photoshop you have, but I'm using CS6 and I know this will work. So I'm going to open and I'm going to hit AK47 edit and I have this pop up and this is the gun laid out instead of being 3D and you just you're going to paint however you want. So I, I, don't, I just downloaded Photoshop so we're just going to do something simple. I want a red circle on the wooden stock of the gun. How about that? That sounds right. 
So we're going to put a red circle on the stock of the gun. And we'll just make that nice and red so we can see it. And what else do we... We'll also put another thing somewhere just to make sure we can see it. We will put some grass on the top of the metal like that. Okay? So now we got some grass and we got a red dot. When you're done with that, you're going to save as, obviously. And I'm going to name this just AK-47 Edit Grass. And I don't like saving it as target again. I save it as JPEG. I'm going to hit save. I'm just going to put it on maximum quality. Hit OK. It's going to be saved. So now, we're going to go back to VTF Edit. I'm just going to exit out of that so I can open up a clean one. Back to VTF Edit. Open. No, my bad. Import. And we're going to import the AK-47 Edit Grass. And that will pop up. So just give it a second while it loads in. Give it a second while it loads in. Um, or not. Not responding. Fantastic. Okay, well... Oh, there we go. Now, this is going to be the custom skin that we just made. With the red circle and the grass on top. We're going to hit file and we're going to hit save as and it's going to save as a VTF file this time which is the file that you need to use in the counter stripe program. So file name is going to be grass what do we want? Grass AK. So there it is the grass AK. I'm just going to exit out of this because I need to open up uh, I, I'll leave that. I need to open up CSGO now. So now we're going to open up CSGO. And forgive me if I need to log in. Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry I had to log in and just get set up. So anyway, to start editing your skins. You're going to have to go to Options. Then you go to Game Settings. Now under Game Settings, you're going to have Enable Developer Console. It will usually be off. We want it on. So we switch it to Yes. Now this little squiggly line, usually on the top left of your keyboard under escape or around there, is going to open your developer console. So we want workshop. So we're going to type in work and workshop work underscore workbench will pop up. Click on that and you're going to hit submit. Once you hit submit, this will obviously pop up. AK-47 is all already up. It's only, it's the normal stock one. We want to add it ours, ours of course. All of these are going to do something different. Solid color will just make it a solid color of these colors you pick. Hydrographic will put a graphic on it and leave certain parts solid color. Custom paint job is the one we will be choosing today because we are using a custom paint job. Now to use a custom paint job, you're going to want to ignore weapon size scale. So click that. You're going to want all your offsets down to zero, your rotation to zero, and your wear. I'm turning to zero just to see. Once you start, you want to choose pattern. Wherever you've stored your pattern, you're going to go to minus and CSGO skin under grass AK. You click that on. I inspect. You see the grass on top that we did. And if I hit workbench, you can see, once I pause it, there's the red circle that we were using. And there's the grass on top. If I can roll it further show that that's where it is. Yes, very nice. So we have two red circles on each side and some grass on top. So now that we have that, we can also go to green screen. This is just a side view. You cannot move it, cannot roll it, nothing of that. Workbench will allow you to get a nice sweeping side view and allow you to pause, move farther along, and roll it. Holding it will give you a nice view so you can inspect your gun, see what it would look like in-game, and also to view reloading. Now you cannot roll and you cannot move along, but when you're inspecting, you can pause it to get a nice side view of your gun and its skin which is nice to use if you want to take a snapshot for your Steam Workshop profile. Now, we have that done. So we want our grass AK with the red circle. So we are going to save this as, once I get to it, I'm going to go to CSGO Skin, and we are going to name it Grass AK. Now, we are going to want to submit. Now, once we submit, you're going to have to download CSGO SDK. CSGO SDK, which I already have downloaded, is going to give you these three menus. And these three menus, this one you are not going to really need. So I'm just going to minimize this. This one you won't need either. This is what we're mostly going to need. So what I want to do, I want to name it 
Grass, AK is the title of my gun. Description, AK-47 with grass on top and a red circle. So there's that. There's my description. Now, when you want the workbench TXT file is the file I just saved when I just used save as. So I'm going to go to browse. And since I just saved it, I know where it is. CSGO skin grass AK. So when you save this file in the workshop workbench or whatever you want to call it, you hit save as down here. Remember where you know it so you can get that TXT file. Otherwise, you are screwed. Next, we need the TGA file. TGA file is the one that we used when we converted it in the VTF file converter. So what we want to do, I need to get back to my CSGO skin. No, I think I put this one on my desktop, so that's going to make it a whole other pain in the ass. So the TGA file is this one. These are the TGA files. So we want the AK-47 edit, I think so, or do we want to turn this into the TGA? Okay, so we're going to want this AK-47 grass. So we need to open up, um, sorry about this, I forgot this step. VTF edit again. We're going to import the edit grass. Okay. So once this loads up, once after it's done not responding, of course, Sorry, these are pretty big files, so VTF edit takes a little while to load them, and I'm also running quite a few programs in the background. So now we're going to file, save as, and we want to save it as a TGA, which, let's figure out how to do this. I, I'm sorry, I can't remember. Maybe it's export. Yes, we want to export. File name. We do not want it in this. Remember, you don't want a desktop. You want to put it in program file C because it makes your life 10 times easier. So open up your edited gun from Photoshop, you load it in to VTF edit, you're going to hit file and then export. When you export it will make it a TGA. Remember now put it in your folder that you can easily get to in your C drive which of course is wherever you put it. Sorry I'm just trying to think. So we are going to go CSGO skin is where I put mine and this TGA file will be AK grass. So there's that going to go back to the Steam Workshop checklist. You're going to hit Browse for the TGA file. And since I just put mine in the CSGO skin, akgrass.tga, there's the akgrass.tga. Now, the VTF file. This one is the one that always gives me trouble. So I'll be back one second. Okay, sorry, I just had to uh, remember how to do that part. So we also need to use VTF edit once again. We're going to have, I still have my AK grass open. This is what we're going to need. This time, file, save as. Oh, I already have it saved as something, sorry. Grass AK, that's what we're going to need to use. So I'm going to need, I'm going to, need to go to the grass AK skin. There's grass AK. Now, if you forget, sorry if I'm skipping around right now. This is the file that we originally saved so we could import it into CSGO. But if you forget where you put that, you can just save it again and get another VTF file for it. But this is the grass AK. This is what I used for the CSGO skin. We made this quite a, well, quite a while ago. So I'm sorry, I just jumped around. I forgot what I was doing. So now we have each one of these text files done. Next, we're going to need a preview image. The preview image is just going to be a screenshot of your weapon. So just just because I do not have a screenshot on me right now, because I haven't, I'm not really making this gun. I'm just using it for informational purposes. I am going to take a random screenshot very quickly, and it's just going to be this one. So now I have that. You're going to accept the agreements. The agreement right here, you need to accept a few things. If you haven't already, it's just telling you that they have permission to use your workshop items. If it, gets, if it gets featured or whatever, you get a portion of the profit, but it can be split with other people. So it's just telling you a whole bunch of things, and all the artwork must be your own. Obviously, this isn't my own, but I'm not putting this up here for any reason right now. So once this is done, I'm going to hit Publish. So we're waiting for it to publish. 
waiting for it to publish. Waiting for it to publish. Alright, well anyway, it is publishing. Now, sometimes, well, times, you may get an error, which I had quite frequently when I first started doing this. You're going to get one of these files, it will say, cannot, is not a factor of zero. I mean, not a factor, not a factor of two. When it says it's not a factor of two, that means your pixels, whatever they are, need to be a factor of two. So if two times two is four, and then times two is eight, so your thing could be four by eight. Now, a common one I like to use is 1024 by 548. I think those are both factors of two that I usually use for my pixelated preview images and anything else that I have to use has to be a factor of two. Now this is not publishing, I do not know why, but this is basically how you make your CSGO skin. So thank you again for watching and if you have any questions feel free to comment below. If I need to smooth anything up or show you how to do something, uh, just ask and I'll have it done. Thank you guys.